Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, it's been been a couple of weeks again. I keep saying that every time I do a video because I only do one every couple of weeks now. Um, I want to get into doing some more videos. I really do. Time's just time sucks because there's not enough of it. Anyway, today I want to look at the Obi Wan Kenobi Celebration exclusive. Um, pick this up online. I, I actually recorded a video review of it like a week ago. And I only realized once I went to put it into Movie Maker and edit it and stuff that they'd stop recording with like two minutes to go. Um, and I didn't even notice it had stopped recording, so it was painful. So here I am doing it again, finally got time to do it again. Um, this is an awesome set. Really nice box, really nicely displayed. The figure is fantastic. Um, let's have a closer look. All right, on to the figure. I'm just going to show the box a little bit more because there's some really cool little features on this thing. And I only realized this when I was filming it the first time, um, about a week and a half ago, or a week, a week ago. And this uh, little bit here pops out. So you got a nice nice picture of the bin on the card. And then you got a little bit of the monologue from the uh, message from Leia. So I'll just pause that, you can read that if you like, you all know the lines you've seen in the movie God knows how many hundreds of times That's a really nice little feature of the uh, of the box This opens with Velcro tabs, that's where the figure and accessories is displayed And you've got a little monologue there inside of the box, Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Jedi logo On the back you've got his homestead on Tatooine Pretty nice line drawing And you've got another bit there, which I will pause. You can pause. I'm not going to pause it. You can pause it. There we go. Awesome stuff. Now here's the here's the this is the uh, selling point aside from the figure itself. Um, this is the exclusive piece. Electronic alkaline batteries required. Three AAA's. Just pop the top off there. You can see where they will go. And uh, you just got this little this little jar. Here's a button. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. And uh, you press it again. She goes through the rest of the message, which is really really cool. And it's just a really nicely molded piece. I love these little ornate um, bits on his on the table here. I think they look fantastic. Just a really nice display piece. She can be popped off there like that. She looks great. It's it's a really nice little piece. Just pop that aside there. Also get Luke's lightsaber, and it's not going to focus on it because I've got everything in the background. The camera wants to automatically focus on that. So we've seen this before. Um, I've given it to Ray, so she's uh, got a lightsaber. I didn't need to have another one because Luke came with one as well. Onto the figure itself. This is Ben Kenobi, and what an awesome figure it is! I'm I'm stoked with this one. I really am. I really am. Really, really impressed with this figure. They've done a great job. The sculpt's awesome. Well worth the wait. Um, I felt like they should have released this one a while ago, but it's still patience pays off because they've uh, given us a really good figure, and I, I dig it. I really do. Um, it comes with his lightsaber, which is cool. Nicely sculpted, nicely painted. It's got a bit of a hook there. The blade is removable. If we go zoom up on his belt there, that hilt does hold on there really nicely. And it's not loose at all, so it's not going to fly off or anything. Do a quick look at the head sculpt. It's nicely done, reasonably nicely painted as well. Looks good. There's a lot of uh, aftermarket heads on out there on online that you can get. Um, a lot of people were just getting them to put on an, on a uh, episode three Obi Wan Kenobi so they could have an episode four Obi Wan. Um, it was good. I thought that a couple the people that did them did an absolutely amazing job, but the cost of them were the price of the figure alone. So I decided to be be, be patient, which is very unstable as collector like. Let me just say, um, 
we're a hopeless bunch. You, you guys will know it. <laughs> we can't wait for this shit. Um, but this is this is awesome. This is the first sort of soft goods robe I think they've done in the Black Series. Um, I've got a couple, again, that I bought off eBay, which I've got for the uh, Episode 3 Obi-Wan and Anakin. And I did talk about them in the reviews, I think. But they've done a good job with this one. It looks nice. I keep a little bit of blue tack just underneath the hood there so it does sit nicely on his head and however I want to pose it. So it's quite nice. Slips off nicely. I won't do it this time, but we'll just sort of go through and have a look at the finer details of his belt. He's got a bit of a pouch. There's the buckle, a few buttons, holes in his belt, and that hook. He's got the uh, tabards from his robe sort of coming down the front there, which looks good. This is all sort of a soft, malleable plastic, so that's nice. Um, Soft goods would have been super cool, but I think it would have just disrupted the rest of the flow of the figure. Um, so I think they've made a good decision by going plastic with this. And let, we're not posing him out like stupid stuff, so it's not going to look strange. He's mostly going to be standing there anyway, so... Looks good. Really nicely done figure. Um, just the sort of fabric, the sort of sculpting on the fabric looks good. Looks nice and authentic. Uh, articulation's good as well. He's got the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, ball hinged wrists, that sort of torso joint. He has the ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, double jointed knees and the ankles with the ball joint in the front of the shoe there. So that sort of rocker joint. So really nicely articulated. I can get him to hold the lightsaber with two hands, which is fantastic. Um, there's been a few figures that have been lacking the ability to do that, mainly the episode three figures. But just the right man, you can get those hands together and have him. I mean, I could work a little bit harder and get them a bit nicer, but you can have him holding the lightsaber with two hands, which is great. But yeah, really, really impressed with this figure. And I definitely recommend it. I hope they do a single card release, I believe they will. You just won't get that table and you probably won't get Luke's lightsaber, but you get what you see, what I'm holding right now. Um, which will be well worth it. I definitely recommend picking it up. Um, uh, Hasbro's got a massive catalog of six inch figures that are coming. They've announced so much over the last few months that we've got a lot to cut, that we've got a lot coming. And, um, and that was before they announced the Rogue One stuff. So the Rogue One stuff's about to hit pretty hard. So we've got a lot coming, which is fantastic because we've got a lot to be excited about and we've got plenty of time to save up some cash for it. So any go anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, this is the, I think it was the third time I've recorded the damn video, but <laughs> got there in the end. Um, let me know what you think. I want to try and do some other videos. Um, I always say that. And I just get distracted end up doing other stuff anyway. But I, I need to sit down and record some videos and just give myself a bit of a backlog. But anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Any comments or feedback down below, please um, come follow me on Instagram at The Forces With Jesse and on Facebook at The Forces With Jesse. Um, yeah, come track me down and follow my adventures. Should be fun. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for more. Until next video, may The Force be with you.